today, guys, we're gonna talk about insulin to carb ratios. If you're struggling with an insulin to carb ratio, you feel like your blood sugar is all over the place, you wanna go back to the basics and you wanna test it out. Here's a simple strategy that you guys can use to help you guys to get your insulin to carb ratios down pack again so you can avoid the high and low blood sugars. You can gain more confidence. If this is for you guys, you guys wanna check this out, jump in the video. As you guys know on this channel, we help diabetics to build muscle, burn fat, and just manage your diabetes better overall. We also do supplement reviews to help you guys out, especially when it comes to knowing what supplements to take in order to build muscle, in order to burn fat, get control over your fitness, over your lifestyle. If that sounds good, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification down below so you guys don't miss out when these videos drop. Hit that like button now, it just helps me out. Get these videos in front of more people so you guys know what you guys gotta do to have success in the gym, have success with your health, have success overall with your life. So it's your boy Jason Crystal. let's just dive right into this one. I got you guys. Is your insulin to carb ratio working for you? So the first thing that you guys wanna do is you wanna take your blood sugar level. Right now, after you test your blood sugar, do this on a day when you're fasted. So you're not working out, you're not training, and you wanna do this after about 12 p.m. because we wanna get outside that dawn phenomenon effect. The dawn phenomenon effect is gonna cause your blood sugar level to skyrocket sometimes in the morning as a result of the natural circadian rhythm of cortisol that is higher in the morning between around 3 a.m. to about 9 a.m. or 10 a.m. So you wanna do it outside of this range, outside, outside of 12 p.m. and so after you're done fasting you have no food on board we've just drinking water you haven't worked out because we don't want to trigger any other hormones in the body we want to get the best baseline that we can so the next thing that you want to do is test your blood sugar now let's say for example you're saying your insulin to carb ratio is one unit for every 10 grams of carbohydrate now what you're going to do is start with 30 grams of carbohydrates now after you have that 30 grams of carbohydrates based on what you're saying your insulin to carb ratio is one unit for every 10 and that would mean that you're going to give yourself three units of insulin to match that 30 grams of carbohydrate if that's what your theory is now depending on what your blood sugar is before you went and ate and had 30 grams of carbohydrates then an hour to an hour and a half and even up to two hours after your blood sugar should come back around the same number it was before you went and gave yourself your insulin now if you find that your blood sugar is higher after what you did that means you have to shift your insulin to carb ratio down so instead of one to ten you might be one to seven so you want to test this again and see what happens right now what's gonna end up happening is let's say for example your blood sugar goes low now now if your blood sugar goes low well, that means you might not be one to ten afterwards you might be one unit it for every 12 grams of carbohydrates and that's how you continually shift and change what you think your theory is based on your insulin to carb ratio to find what it actually is and you have to go through the testing in order to find out what's working so you guys can keep try this test over and over again try it a few times and after you've done this about three to four times if you notice that this is working for you your blood sugar is coming in it's the same as it was before you ate now you found that sweet spot that's going to work for you guys and you guys are good to go now